righty. I wonder how, um, oh gosh, I'm blanking on his name. What's his name? The, the one gentleman that used to come. Um, oh, Greg, that's right, that's right. Yeah, how he's doing after his move. Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't hear you, sorry, you're muted. I saw him in the PD Active meeting last week. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah. So he's doing well. I don't know. I couldn't speak to him because, but I saw him. Oh, got it, got it. Well, that's good. At least he's he's active. Do you guys see me well? It's not too dark. All right, so let's get started. Um, sitting nice and tall. Oh, I like your shirt. <laughs> is it, is it, uh, yeah, I muted everyone, but is your name Bal Baljeet? Is, is, am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> yeah, is it good? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> All right, well, welcome. All right, so sitting nice and tall. Oh, looks like you have some palm trees behind you. You must be somewhere nice. <laughs> Is it Hawaii? I moved to Florida. Oh, nice. Okay, we were just talking about Florida. <laughs> nice. All right, taking a few deep breaths. Checking in with your body, feeling feet on the floor and sit bones on the chair. Nice long spine. Getting that breath down into the belly, letting the belly rise on the inhale. And then feel your uh, shoulders and let's try to circle the shoulders. So nice big circles. All right. And then reaching the arms out to the side and bending, touching the back of the head and reaching out and bending again. Good. And then reaching up and alternating sides. Nice work. And then both arms up. Big stretch up, lengthening the sides of the body. Feel that inner belly lift. And then we're gonna go down, hinging at the hips, coming into a forward fold. And then on the inhale, we're gonna go halfway up into that seated cobra. So elbows in, um, broad collarbones, lift the heart forward. 
and then exhale, release all the way into that forward fold again. And inhale, lift up and overhead. And hands to your heart. Good. Great. And then let's um, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Attaching the opposite knee. Shoulders down. Keep the spine long. And hold the twist. Let's actually try to look over the other shoulder. So oh, if you're twisting to the left, look over your right shoulder, stretching your neck. Take a few breaths. Excellent. And then back to center. And we'll do the other side. So lengthen up on the inhale and exhale, twist. First, looking over to your right for a couple of breaths. And then slowly moving the head to look to the left. Nice work. And then back to center. Great. Do a little bit of that cat and cow. So spreading the shoulder blades apart. And then squeezing the shoulder blades back, lifting the heart. And then rounding the upper back a bit. And inhale, lift. Exhale. So most lift in the upper back, so you're not really hinging in the hips. And even the head just sort of follows the spine. But mostly it's the upper back that moves. And shoulders, yeah. Good. All right. And then shoulders down away from your ears. And then interlacing fingers, pressing forward. Hold those arms straight for a bit. And then we'll try to straighten those legs. So one leg, another leg, alternating sides. Keep straightening those arms. The shoulders away from your ears. Excellent. And release. Good. And then let's move the head in circles. So nice round shape, kind of like drawing with the nose. And reverse, go the other direction. Nice work. Awesome. So let's do the, let's lift the toes. So you're lifting toes up towards your shins. So feel that engagement in the muscles in the front of the shin and, and a little stretch in the calf. As you lift up. Nice. And then we'll do the opposite. So lifting the heels, coming on your tiptoes. Good. All right. So uh, do you guys, uh, do, Belgi, do you have a resistance band? Yeah, okay. 
you if you have a resistance band, let's work a little bit with that. Yeah, if you can sort of have it ready for each class. I mean, I don't always use it, but <laughs> it's, it's nice to add a little bit of strengthening. So we're just going to expand across the chest. Uh, and so you can, depending on how strong your strap is, right, you can, to make it harder, you hold closer together. So you need more strength to stretch it or to make it easier, hold it a little wider. So you, you want it to be somewhat hard. Uh, so you feel the muscles actually really working hard. Deep breath flowing, shoulders away from your ears. Oh, you got it, Michelle? Good. All right, if you've done a few, take a little break, especially if you have this one. <laughs> this one is hard. Um, we'll do one more set. So yeah, let's wait for Michelle to sit down. Good. Oh, got it, good. All right, let's do one more set. So expand and then slowly let go. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Awesome. And again, take a little break. And then we'll work the legs. So let's put it around our left foot. All right, and we'll work on those extensions and try to get that uh, heel closer to you. Knee, knee comes up. Uh, so you're working the hip flexors as well, as well as the quadricep, bending the knee and the hamstring. Sorry, quadricep strengthens it, straightens the knee and hamstring bends it. Yeah, so hold it pretty low on the strap because otherwise you, you kind of are <laughs> with the arms, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable. So. I mean, if you hold it low, lower, you, you will have more resistance, but um, at least your, your shoulders can relax a little bit more. Good, so it's bigger work for the leg, which we want. We want those strong legs. Nice, and then keep it straight. It's a nice tall posture. And then I'm going to try doing a few circles with that straight leg. All right. All right. And then rest your leg. And, and so we'll do one more for the upper back, the rowing motion. So you can either uh, do it this way, so heel down, but if you sit sort of deeper in the chair and your thigh is supported, you can also keep the leg straight, straight forward. And then again, holding maybe a little lower on the strap and then you're pulling that strap back, right? Core engaged, so you'll feel it around your shoulder blades and the upper back. 
and in the arms. So again, it should be kind of hard. So you should feel that resistance as you pull. Good. And then on the next one, let's pull and hold. Shoulders down away from your ears. Hold, 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 hold that pull, 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 pull. And release, <laughs> good. And then we'll do one more here, the, the bicep curl. So you're holding the strap and then you're just hinging at the elbows, right? So elbows are in, so you're not doing this, right? But elbows in and then just bending at the elbow and trying to get those hands towards your shoulders. Yeah, so you'll feel it in the bicep, the bicep curl. Try to bring it as high up as you can towards the shoulders. Good. Nice job. All right. Now let's switch sides. Now let's work on that outer leg. So we'll do the leg extension. So one and two, sitting nice and tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we do ten more? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. And then we'll keep it straight. Uh, first, we'll do the circle, a few circles. So straight leg circles. Working the hip flexor, so you'll feel it here in the hip joint. Good. Okay, and then uh, you can either rest the heel down or scoot back into the chair so the leg is supported and we'll do another set of those rows and then the bicep curl so first the row so nice tall spine core engaged and then you're pulling the elbows back right back straight back i lost you suddenly <laughs> Okay, so straight back with those elbows, straight back. As you pull back, you feel the squeeze between the shoulder blades, those muscles there activate. Nice, good. And then maybe one set of those bicep curls. So holding it uh, and then bending at the elbows, bringing the hands towards the shoulders. You should feel a little bit tired by now in those arms. Good. 
and then release. Awesome. Oh, hi, Jana. All right, let's do one more thing with the strap and that's the strengthening the hips. So we're gonna bind the legs together. So put it on top of your thighs and then cross under and pull up the ends. Good, and then we're gonna step out. And again, we're trying to really activate this, uh, the hip. So you don't wanna do this, right? Where you're just sticking out that foot because you won't feel it here. So you wanna stick out the knee and the foot stays below the knee. So you feel the activation in the hip. Yeah, we can alternate. So one and two and three. And four and five and six and seven and eight and nine, ten. Let's try to do ten more. One and two and three and four and five and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Awesome, take a little break. And then we'll do one more and that's the um, opening the knees apart. So feet are together or close together. And then you'll just open the legs out and push against that strap and two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Maybe we'll do fifteen. One, and two, and three. And four and five. Awesome. Great job. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm. Uh, I bought a training for this weekend, and it's all about resistance bands. So I'll probably have some new ideas next week. <laughs> it's uh, East Coast time though, so I'm gonna have to like on Sunday. I'm gonna have to start the training at 5 a.m. <laughs> So it's gonna be a little, um, all right. So let's um, put those straps aside uh, and let's just stretch the hip by doing that figure four stretch. Oh, excuse me. Um, so ankle on top of your thigh and sitting nice and tall. Notice that stretch deep in the hip. And now we're gonna see if you can uh, twist. So, uh, you know, if this twist doesn't work for you, you could always do this twist. So without the cross, but you can try. So finding that length and then twisting towards the left, so touching the knee with the opposite hand, twisting and holding and breathing. Great, and then back to center, and then we'll switch legs. Okay, so again, nice tall spine, and let the breath be smooth. Stretch in the deep in the hip. And then we'll try that twist. So inhaling, lengthening, and exhaling, twisting. 
Excellent. Great, everyone. Keep that spine long. Keep the breath flowing. Great. And then back to center. Uncross those legs. And let's come for a forward fold. So depending on how your back feels today, you can uh, go just halfway down or slide down all the way. That feels okay. And you know, if you're sliding down, you can try to let go of tension, release the shoulders, release the neck. Great, and then on the next inhale, slowly coming up so you don't get dizzy. All right, and then let's do a nice big circle with the upper body. So your sitting bones are grounded into the chair and you're just circling with the upper body. Just notice where you feel a stretch as you go around. Go back and side and forward. And reverse, go the other direction. All right. Let's work. Okay, so I'm gonna put on music for a few minutes of a little bit of more vigorous movement. Welcome to, to do these movements standing or seated. Good. Hold that march. We're going to go up and in with the opposite split. Standing, you can just tap the foot out. Apologies, uh, try opposite arm and leg. And then we're gonna go uh, heel to uh, heel tap forward. Standing, you can do the same. So bending that standing leg a little bit. It's actually a great exercise to strengthen the knees, the muscles around the knees. Because you're doing a little bit of that bent knee, right? Yeah, but you're welcome to do it this way.
Ben. Ba 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 Ben. Ba 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 Ben. Oh ba 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 Ben. Nice, good, good. And now let's do. Well, let's do out of the side. Give it more. With the heel if you can. And then we're going to add the arm. Click. Fingers open. Extend the arm. Standing, you can, you can add that rock to the weight from one leg to the other and bring the
up the arms, don't walk. But if you can, you know, that coordination of those two different movements is good for the brain. So even if you're messing up, um, it's, uh, it's a little harder for the brain to coordinate, which we want, right? We want to stimulate our brain. Not all chairs are easy, but oh, so if you're standing, you can do the same standing, right? So again, the the pelvis is going with you. Listen, baby, ain't no mountain on the side, ain't working no that rotation. Ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me. And then straighten up. If you're seated, pin to the hips as well. And then sit up. Sit up. Three. A little bit of a squat, right? Hips go back. You're reaching forward. And one more time. Very three. And then sit up. Reach forward. That's standing up and sitting 
back in. Okay, if that's hard for you, you can either do squats instead. So maybe not going as well as the chair. Squatting or... Think about off a little bit. all the way. Back down. Or squat. Michelle Johnson, you can do it this way if you're worried about balance, you know, holding on to the chair and then still sending those hips back. And as you do that, the weight shifts more towards the heels. It might seem crazy, uh, what I'm about to say. Good, good to work for the back side. And it's a little more gentle for the knees. You do the proper squat versus the set, right? There's a lot on the knees. So, here you're working with right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, good. Great. Cactus arm. Here come back news talking this and that. And I'm bring the elbows together. And then we'll try to go down like this. Back up. I'll be just fine. Bring them together. No offense to you, don't waste your time. Pretend we're jumping rope, so bring me lifting down. the wheels. Good. 
All right. Try to do a big circle, crossing in front of you, lifting up, splitting Sunshine, goodbye rain. She's wearing my school ring on her chain. She's my steady, I'm her man. I'm good. Oh, I good. Uh, we can try a little uh, snap. Uh, we can try the, the knees, go side to side. The standing is a little harder. <laughs> and then you're snapping to the other side. And then we'll go just the leg. So the knees go one side, and you're going to extend the leg and bend. Side, extend the outer leg and bend. And you can hold on to it here. Join them to the right, left leg extend. Join them to the left, right leg extend. You're crossing the midline. Shine goodbye rain. She's wearing my school ring on her chain. She's my steady, I'm her man. I'm gonna lie. Awesome. So let's uh, inhale the arms up and overhead, big stretch up. And then exhale, another forward fold. So you can uh, stay here or slide down again. Stay there for a few breaths. Great, and then come back up. And let's um, stretch one leg straight forward and we'll, we'll do that hamstring stretch. So for that, that leg should be straight and then you're tilting the whole pelvis forward, right? The whole pelvis and the body follows uh, until you feel a bit of a pull in the back of the thigh. And then we're gonna stay there a few breaths. Just try not to round your back too much. So keep lengthening the spine forward as you come back, okay, as you come down. And stay there for a few breaths. Good, and then coming back up. And then um, maybe you can slide to the side of the chair a little bit more. So you can uh, bring that leg out to the side and we'll try to do a side bend here. So see, see if you can keep some length on both sides of the body and then maybe bringing that arm towards your ear. But if your shoulder is um, painful, you can keep the arm here and just work on that side bend. Good. And then we'll slide bend away from that straight leg. Keep the breath flowing.
Excellent. Good. All right. And then we'll do the um, hamstring stretch. So legs straight forward. So you're propping it by the heel and then coming down towards it until you feel a stretch in the back of the leg. Awesome. And then coming back up and then send that leg out to the side. We'll do that side bend. So either arm on your hip or extend it up a little more. And breathe. Notice where you feel the stretch. And then inhale, rise up, and then we'll reverse the stretch. So we'll go to the right, away from that straight leg. Keep the breath flowing. Excellent. And then come back to center. All right, so let's do a little bit of relaxation to find a comfortable position in your chair. And just again, uh, notice your breath. And then see if you can slightly elongate the breath, taking that nice long deep breath in through your nostrils. And then letting go of all tension on the exhale. Nice long exhale. Just keep focusing on your breath. And then that coming and going and that letting go. You could just pick also one part of your body where you hold a lot of tension and focus on that part. Just releasing that tension on every exhale a little bit more. And just feel your feet on the floor and your toes. Then move your awareness up into your legs. And then feel your pelvis. your belly. And your chest. And shoulders.
on your face. Maybe spread a smile on your face. And then slowly start opening your eyes. And then just to finish, let's um, let's do nice uh, long a ah sound. Um, so let's let's do it three times. So breathing in, big a. Ah. So open the mouth. Ah. Again. Uh... One more. Uh... Oh, let's <laughs> <It> start yawning. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's close the class with our little intention setting. Feel free to join. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be mindful. May I have courage. May I have fun. And may I treat myself and others with love and compassion. And then hands to your forehead as a reminder of the power of your thoughts. Hands to your lips as a reminder of the power of your words. And hands to your heart as a reminder of the power of your actions. Namaste. All right. Thanks, everyone. Great work. I'm going to stop the recording.